Come on, I like that armor. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Vanilla Hype Train Series! Alright, guys. Um, yeah, welcome back to Vanilla. We are live on Twitch. I turned off all the bells and whistles, just have a face cam, a couple little things on the bottom. And, um, you know, guys, I, I'm going to have to put these videos up separated. I wanted to put up both of the video... Okay, why is she screaming? I'm not really sure. Um, anyway, I wanted to put up both of the videos uh, on this world at this on the same day. Okay, it's not gonna work. Um, everyone watched one of the videos and not the other. I gotta space them out. I can't. I can't be having both of the videos go up on the same day. So I'm gonna put up the one video on a Monday, like I always do, and the second video will go up some other day, probably. Um, I don't know later on in the week or whatnot. Oh, this isn't. This isn't looking good. Hold on. Okay. Come on. You die now. This is not how I wanted to start off this video. Freaking screamer. That's what happens when you get a... That's what happens when you're using a, um, an auger like that. Now, this, um, this area down here, if it was built properly, um, this wouldn't be an issue. But it's not. So it is an issue. So, uh, I think I hear more screamers. Anyway, let me, um, I, I don't want to get stuck here. So what happened was, guys, I was looking for shale last episode. I was digging like crazy all the way over here looking for shale. The shale was on the other side. It's right there. So I dug it out, um, you know, in between videos, and here we are. I just want to get out of here. I don't want to be here for long. I just wanted to show you guys where the shale was. All right, you can scream all you want, because I don't really give a F, because I'm out. Peace! All right, guys, so we got a couple of things we want to do um, in this video, and um, I'm not... I, actually, I got a couple of things I want to do total, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to get to. I think our number one concern needs to be the horde base. Not, I mean, not the horde base, but we need to horde base up our main base. We need to... Because what's happening is we're getting all kinds of issues at our main base. Uh, like, my main base is a few blocks away from collapse, Okay. It's no joke, right? So we need to we need to solidify this. And, and I got news for you. We've needed to solidify this for a long time, and I just haven't gotten around to it. So number one concern today will be solidifying the, the main base. I want to get all the walls up. I would like to get extra stability pillars underneath um, my main base, you know. And I would like to get a, a whole row of spikes around it. So that way if I get, like, the little... Because I'm not getting, like, serious hordes there. I'm only... Damn it. Hold on. Okay. I'm not getting any serious hordes there, but the problem is, um, oh, come on, Cage. Gas. Get off the freaking bike, go to the get goddamn thing, and refuel. There we go. It's not exactly rocket science. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, my base needs to stand up better, and uh, I need to get it done. All right, there's another thing I want to do. I actually want to make a proper farm. Uh, maybe, maybe with a little barn type thing and everything, like a little... I don't know. I'm thinking about making a farm. Probably won't do that today. Uh, at least, definitely not in this video. This video is going to be all about the main base. All right? And um, I also need to work on the horde base. And that's what we're looking at for the next few videos. Um, this this bike, I probably mention this all the time, um, but this bike is so freaking slow after playing, you know, Borderlands. It's just, wow. It, it feels like I'm riding on a tortoise. All right, this is wonderful. I've actually got quite a bit of cement and rebar frames. By the way, the reason I went out there for the oil shell was for oil, right? Or, yeah, it was to make oil, wasn't it? Honestly, I don't remember what I went out there for. I'm pretty sure it was for oil. Let's see what the recipes are. Yeah, it was. I'm pretty sure it was for oil. I, I mean, I guess it... No, actually, I think it was for gas. I mean, I've got a decent amount of gas. I'm going to hold on to the shale until I actually need something. Because I don't really need that guess. So I'm trying to hit the escape key, but I'm hitting the key all the way to the left, which is the G1 key. I've got a G710 plus uh, keyboard. It's got all little stupid buttons all over the place. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to hold on to the shell for now. I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, although I'm pretty sure I got it for the oil. Pretty sure. Maybe it's for the gas. Honestly, I don't know. Anyway, we've got a lot of concrete. and a, Oh my god, we've got a ton of concrete mix. That is freaking awesome. I will be making some more rebar frames. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm thinking another 100 will be nice. There we go. And let's go down and start fixing this place up. Hell yeah, man. This this place, I mean, I'm telling you, it's not good. It's not in a good spot right now. And um, this is long freaking overdue. 
There we go. And right there. Do I have anything to upgrade with? Of course I don't. I could always use the wrench, but I'd rather get a claw hammer. Because claw hammers are beast. Where do all my bullets go, man? Did I just seriously use them all? or That's not good. That is not good. Um, wow, yeah. Yeah, it seems like I've used most of them. I got a lot of shotgun rounds. Should I just start using the shotgun? I think I, I think I want to use those shotgun rounds for shotgun turrets on Horde Knight. So I guess we'll hold on to them for now. But yeah, um, I think this pistol has seen better days. Maybe we can, uh, do we have what we need? We do not. We need to get some lead in that, in that forge. So let's get some lead in the forge. That's all the lead I have? Oh my God. Serious. Well, I did farm some lead while I was out there. While I was out at the uh, shale mine, I was farming a lot of lead. So that's fun. So we'll just go ahead and put a lot of lead in here. And we still want the iron going in there because we are going to need a lot of forged iron for spikes. Um, I left nothing back at the other base. So whatever we have here is what we have. So let's see what we're looking at on spikes. Two. We've got two spikes. Two spikes! Don't spend it on one place. Oh, man. I never turned in that freaking quest. All right. People in Twitch chat, I need you to please remind me to turn in that quest. That's a tier 5 quest that I did last episode, and I never freaking turned in. Like, that's, you know, you don't do a tier 5 quest and not turn it in. Although, I think when I was doing the tier 5 quest, wasn't I doing it in the middle of the night? I got caught in there, so not much you could really do about that. And I came in here for the claw hammer, and I never grabbed it. Because, of course, I didn't. Go. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really want to make more bullets. Like, for reals. Actually, I want to make more bullets sooner rather than later. So let's just do this. Okay. Now let's upgrade these suckers. Let's get this thing, uh... Let's get this thing short up, shall we? Oh, I need cobblestone for that. Eh, the hell with that. Not gonna worry about it. If they break it out, I'll just replace it with something stronger. I am gonna want to break this out. How many hit points is in the one? The ones in the middle. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, good. The other ones are concrete. Those got like a lot of hit points, but the ones in the middle are only five hundred. You know what's going on? The reason I'm not seeing the hordes coming in is because I'll hear something, and usually what it is is they're in this river over here, and that's why I don't see them, right? But there's nobody in there now, so that is. Fine. That is just fine. Let me show you this, guys, man. This freaking building is just getting torn up. Um, look at this. Look at this thing right here. This whole freaking area just getting torn up. And the reason it's getting torn up is it's partially because it's just brick, but it's also partially because I don't have spikes down. Definitely need to get some spikes going. Okay, and then we'll put that right there. Kind of close this up. Yeah, I should build some bridges for the horde. That would be awful kind of me. Well, I'm a nice guy, you know? Oh, I'm a nice guy. I'm just going to leave that leave that cobblestone stuff there, that brick stuff. If they break it out, I'll replace it. I just don't care that much. I mean, this should be pretty strong by the time I'm done plugging up all the holes. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, pillars inside. Maybe I should use pillars. Can you... What the frick was that? It sounded like a dog. Huh. Hearing things. Um, the problem with pillars is, uh, I'd want to use pillar 100s, but the problem with pillar 100s, oh, never mind, they do come in rebar. Okay, never mind, I will make some pillar 100s for the inside. Okay, there we go. Alright, this place, the outside part is pretty much done, I just need to get a lot of forged iron going. Alright guys, we got the, uh, lead bullets going, I've also got the rebar pillar 100s. And let's go down and see what's what down here. All right, so I would like to put this in, put these um, support pillars in certain spots. Okay, so I'm thinking, um, how many? Five from the side. One, two, three, four. That's five. So put it right there. Five, and then that. Let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, and then right there. Okay, so that's one that's already set up. Yeah, I think five and then the five from the corners would be pretty good. Although this is kind of, uh, this is just a shit show. 
<laughs> this is just a... Ugh. Just awful. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, and then right there. Yeah, let's just stick with that. Five from the corner, and then the block. So one, two, three, four, five, and then right here. I'm thinking about actually cleaning out in here, man. Just like getting rid of all this stuff, right? I just don't want to get any, get rid of anything that's holding up the building, you know? All right, you know what, guys? We're just going to commit to that five and then the pillar thing. The hell with it. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so that goes all the way up to there, but I want this to be solid. So let's break this out. No wood. Right? That's the reason this place is ready to collapse in the first place. The fact that everything's made out of wood. Well, that and the fact that I ignored it for so long. <laughs> There's that. Yeah, this this whole thing's going to come out. I'm just really worried about taking out a support pillar and having, like, oh, that was the one pillar that was holding the building up. Sorry, cage. And then I'm going to be all like, thanks, unfun pimps. Am I right? That's right. It's weird that it's one piece of stone and then the rest is wood. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, and there we go with that one. Okay. And they'll come over here and do the same thing right here. So we got to tear this out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pillars in and I'm just going to tear out all the walls. Just because anno they annoy me. They're annoying me. Don't want to annoy me. Whoop. Come on, man. Jump up there. Can we get... Nope. If I had hardcore parkour, I could jump up there. But then I'd have to spend points on something I don't necessarily need. That's not how you chop out wood cage. Come on now. Come on now. Alright, so da, 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 right here. That should be five. Alright, so let's chop this out underneath. You know guys, I was curious on the beginning of this video, right? In the beginning of this video, you guys are probably really confused watching this video. Um, because I started off in the desert biome in my shale mine and then i was thinking as i was sitting here building stuff i'm like you guys never saw that w what happened last week was i got done with my recordings so early that i did a lot of farming off camera right and uh what i did was i went to the shale mine and i went there for i think gas honestly i don't know and you guys don't know either unless you were at the stream because i didn't record it so you guys are probably like at the beginning of the video like, what the hell is he doing in the shale mine he came here? Did I miss a video? No, you didn't miss a video. I just, um, I forgot that I didn't record that. So that's why I was in the shell mine. And I was looking for shell and I couldn't find it. And then I found it at the beginning of this video. All right. So people in chat want me to talk about the difference between nine millimeter and the AK. Okay. So the AK is good for, oh, well, I'm allowed to drop one curse for a video. The AK is good for the oh shit damage, right? Where it's like, okay, I'm getting overwhelmed and I need that stopping power. But I like the pistol better, pretty much better in every way. Because, like, I, I mean, I guess if I get in that oh shit situation... Oh, I just said S the S word twice. All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> if I get into that position, um, it's, it's a bad thing. But I do like the pistol more. I just kind of try and stay out of that position where I'm, like, in over my head, you know? I mean, I guess it happens. It happened in the shell mine, and I handled it just fine, right? And I'm going to tell you why. The pistol, I think... I mean, I'd have to check, but I... I don't really know. I'm thinking the pistol does more damage than the AK bullet for bullet. Although I could be wrong about that. And I very well might be. But the pistol's nice because you could just pop, pop. It's, mo it's more controlled. You tend to hit your targets more often. Plus, the, the bullets are cheaper for the pistol. So this is the ammo for the, the uh, AK. You need three gunpowder. And this is for the pistol, one gunpowder. The the AK is three times more expensive. Or is it two times more expensive? I think it's three times more expensive. Depends on how you look at it. Um, it's just super expensive, and I don't I don't need that. Um, so I do like the pistol more, and that is why. All right. I used to like the Magnum more, but the Magnum bullets are expensive too. Yeah, it's the same as the AK bullets. So all right. So we got some uh, support pillars in here, which is really nice. Now I need to decide how I want to do this. Um, I'm going to leave the thing up right in the middle, the way it is. And that'll be like the... I, I don't know if that's exactly in the middle of the whole building. 
Um, I should probably check. Let's get rid of some stuff here. All right, guys. So we now have a bunch of forged iron coming out of here, a bunch of iron being cooked in. So that is wonderful because I do need it for spikes. Um, I've also got some bullets being made here. We're going to go ahead and make some more spikes while we're at it. There we go. Okay. And um, I'm also cooking up some more gunpowder. We're going to have to go on a run, man. I need, um, I need stuff. I need, uh, I need um, nitrate and I need coal. So, um, I, where was my coal? Oh, I know where my coal mine is. Okay, my coal mine's right here. All right, fair enough. Yeah, we're going to have to hit that pretty soon. Pretty soon. And we got to remember to hit the trader before the end of this video. That is what I got to do. Also, I have, um, uh, where is it? 95 picnic tables. I've actually got a lot of stuff to sell. Um, should we just scrap this stuff or sell it? Yeah, I'm going to scrap it. Oh, I can't scrap it anymore room to scrap anything okay we'll leave that alone um there are some clothes though i'm gonna i'm gonna want to uh, sell uh not clothes armor there we go a couple a few pieces of armor here i don't see any reason not to sell them yeah it looks pretty good we got to repair them first though so in order to repair them we're going to need this and we can't do anything with this uh, i can repair them in here can i Oh, really? Yeah, no room in queue. I thought you could repair stuff in here. That might, that might have been like Alpha 14 or something. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, let's let that do its thing. Let's get back down here and get to work. Place is starting to shape up pretty nice. Is that too dark? Yeah, it shouldn't be too dark. Alright, so I went ahead and measured out. This is the middle. And we just need to figure out where the middle is here, which should be pretty easy. One, two, middle, one, two. Okay. All right, so that's the middle. So we're going to put the... I guess we'll just... um. You know, we probably don't need any more support pillars, honestly. I'm, I'm going to put some more down um, strictly for redundancy. But we probably don't need... Actually, this would be a good spot for one, wouldn't it? Is that in the middle from the wall to the... No, it's not. That's one, two. That's one two and this is one two so this is the middle i think crap i just picked that up now i don't know where the middle is all right so the middle is right there yeah the middle lines up with the thing going all the way up there so this is the middle right there should be the middle so that should be the middle in between these two pillars going this way and the walls going this way. Let's double check because I can't like if I if I like if I go through and like upgrade this stuff and it's not in the middle, I'm gonna lose my effing mind. Okay. Oh, the out you know what? While I'm here, let's go check on the AK damage compared to the pistol. I'm I, I'm very curious. I'm pretty sure the AK is gonna do more damage. I I'd be surprised if it didn't. Um, but in order for this to be fair, we got to take all the mods out of here. Come on. There you go. Okay. And weapons. Pistol and AK. Oh, wow. Quite a bit more damage. Quite a bit more damage. Wait, 32 and 42. All right. So you know what? 10 more damage. Better magazine size. More rounds per minute, effective range. Okay, you know what? The AK, the bullets are worth it. Yeah. Yeah, the AK is the gun. Followed by the pistol, I think. I don't like the submachine gun as much as the pistol because the submachine gun um, actually does less damage per shot, which is a big deal for me. I, I can't have less damage per shot. And the shotgun's just its own thing. The shotgun, like, let's face it, guys. The shotgun kind of sucks. And that's not me saying that. That's Mad Mole. Mad Mole said the shotgun sucks. The shotgun's not great. All right. Um, what about the Magnum? What about the Magnum compared to the AK? The Magnum is really good compared to the AK if you're looking at strictly damage per round. If you want damage per round, that's your gun. The problem is, after six shots, you're looking at a long reload time. So people in, cha in Twitch chat are talking about a flamethrower. Now, my initial thought with a anything that sets the zombies on fire is that's a bad thing right that's my that's my initial 
gut reaction. You don't want to be setting the, the zombies on fire because it's not going to kill them. And then you're just going to have a flaming zombie coming at you. Probably light your building on fire, um, you know, in a realistic standpoint. So I'm um, like not really with that. But can a flamethrower get so hot that it can burn the zombie's brain in the skull quickly enough to keep the zombie from getting to you? I don't know. I think I don't think flamethrowers are just like, oh, you lit the zombie on fire. I think they're concentrated death of fire. I think it might actually kill the brain quickly enough. So I don't know. I've never used a flamethrower. So <laughs> just, I just don't know. Okay, so that's the wall. That's one block from the wall. And then that nope, this is there's no middle here. There's no middle. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume that's close enough to the middle. It's good enough. Yeah, just extra supports. These are these supports are not needed, I don't think. They're just kind of extra supports. Don't get cheap with your concrete, guys. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so that's one away from that and in the middle. So one away from that, so right here. Okay, and there we go. All right, where's my hammer at? Stop. Hammer time. I think we have enough spikes to start putting some down as well. All right, so you guys in Twitch chat, and you guys can let me know in YouTube comment section. You think that's good enough for the supports? Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to open this up right here. Okay. There we go. Now this isn't gonna be going against any hordes. The worst thing that'll happen is maybe a roaming horde. It's not gonna it's not gonna do much. They won't even get in here, honestly. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna take this like so. We gotta get some spikes up, guys. None of this is gonna work without spikes. I've got a horde down there now. Um, screamers coming in. This is not good. Let's go down there and just clean some freaking. Cl let's clean some clocks, right? All right. Let's do this. All right, you punk ass bitches. Come on. That's right. How do you like that armor? Okay, sounds like there's something else out there. Is she inside? Yep. See, the problem with a screamer is, even if you kill her, um, she can spawn, like, stuff in the area, and they can spawn inside your walls. So, yeah. Gotta take care of that stuff. We gotta get some spikes up, like yesterday. And we gotta do it here, too. Damn it. Because this is the spot they attack more than any other. So what do you guys, what do you guys hate more, vultures or screamers? I personally hate screamers a lot more. Like, I really hate them. And I think the I think the reason I hate them is because they're stupid goddamn freaking... Yeah! Yeah! It's like, shut up. Like, that's what annoys me more than anything. I think that's just a psychological thing, though. Because when you hear that noise, you're like... Ugh, you just gotta go deal with some BS, right? Yeah! 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 Jesus, shut up. Sending you back to hell. Alright, we finally got all that stuff out of there. Let's go ahead and put down some spikes. There we go. This is going to be wonderful. Now, any one screamer that comes up here is just going to get decimated by these spikes. They're, they will take... They will make short work of any screamer. And if somehow... The screamer's not going to see me because she's going to come to where the forge is and I'm going to stay in my base. And that's going to be that. But if she does see me, I think this can handle even a screamer horde. Especially at my game stage now. It's not that high. So... I think this will work just fine. Okay, there we go. Getting some work done today, fellas and ladies. I'm going to stop doing the guys thing. It's like, what's up, guys and gals? Guys and gals? I like it. It kind of rolls off the tongue. 
What's up, guys and gals? I, I probably won't remember to do it for a while, but I'm going to try. Because some of the ladies get upset when I, uh, when I say guys. They feel left out. And I don't want anyone to feel left out. All right. Looking good. We have to make an entrance for this place, too. Like a proper entrance. But for now, this will do. And now it's starting to get a little light out. A little light. Starting to get a little light. Okay. There we go. More of that, please. More of this. And more of this. And I'll probably put some barbed wire on top of it as well, because why the hell not? Actually, I think I will do that. I mean, barbed wire is so cheap. There's really no reason not to. Hold on. All right, no, we got a few minutes left. Um, I got to make sure to go to the trader this video. God, could you imagine if I forget? People be like, Cage! What the? Why? I hate you! You stupid son of a... So, got to make sure to turn that quest in. My thing is, yo, I heard someone say peeps. I like peeps as well, but I don't know. Uh, Paul Search Jr.'s got the best survivors. I mean, I could just call people survivors. I don't like, um, even though I am a survival channel, I don't like locking myself into any one genre in my intro. There we go. And boom. Now let's just hit the corners, get over the trader, call this a video. Got some work done today, fellas and ladies. Fellas. Got some work done. What about boys? Boys and girls. I like that boys thing. Like, um, that didn't sound right. Um, you know, like where you go, oh, we got some spikes now, boys. Like, I like that, but I don't know. Gotta be careful what you say these days, you know? All right. I don't think we got every corner, but well, maybe let's check. <laughs> Boy stalkers. <laughs> oh man, what's up, boy stalkers? Oh man, poor blood stalker. <coughs> oh man, I hurt my throat laughing at blood stalker. <laughs> eh, don't say boys. You don't like you don't like the we got some spikes now, boys. Like, I don't know. That's pr I like that. So what are we gonna get for this quest turn in? I think this might be my first tier five quest turn in. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, let's come on over here. I mean, what are we going to get? What could I get? I mean, honestly, there's nothing I can get here that I really care that much about. Um, oh, I didn't, br I didn't bring everything to sell. Mother. Stupid. Ugh, that really pisses me off. Did I even bring money? I did. Okay, so if there's some stuff here. I want to buy some uh, stuff to make uh, ammo with. Night Fighter! Thank you very much for the bits, man. Oh, crap. He's not even open yet. Of course he's not. I can't. I'm thinking I'm playing uh, Borderlands mod. All right, well let's let's uh, turn off the timer and let's put it back on 30 minutes for the next video. And I'm gonna be recording these back to back, obviously, guys. And that's gonna be the 30 minutes for next video. And uh, let's just, I guess, farm some materials. I mean, just cut down some trees. Or just dig, dig for coal or something. Do I? Did I bring my auger? I didn't. I don't even have a shovel. I guess I'm not digging for coal. All right, he finally opened. Let's see what we get for this tier five quest turn in. Wow. Wow. I mean, I can make this. Uh, this this 44 rounds, I should get more than 23. That should be like 50. That should be like 50. I think I'm gonna get the auger and probably sell it, although it's better than the auger I have by one point. But I don't know if I have any more mods to put in the auger. Yeah, I'm going to take that auger. Got any jobs? I, I think I should stop doing quests. Because, like, I'm not really getting anything for them. Like, I'll bet you if I went and cleared out houses, I could probably get more... Whatever. Um, eh. I guess I'll keep doing them. If you want work no, decline. I want to get the other one. I want to get the one with the clear zombies. If I remember... If I get that one where I clear zombies... And I remember... I'll do it. I'll time it. I can't believe how bad no your stuff is. Now beat it, your stuff sucker. sucks, dude. 
you're a fucker. Yeah, that was really bad. All right, guys, I think we're going to call this one here. If you haven't been joining the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.